Hi guys, I am your host from Hairsite.com, one of the world's largest and longest running websites for hair restoration. Today's video is produced in collaboration with Dr. John Cole of Atlanta, founder of one of the top ranked hair restoration clinics on Hairsite according to our patient result statistics. Today's topic is laser hair regrowth. There are so many brands on the market these days. Laser Cap, Laser Pro, Hair Max, and Dia Restore, to name a few. So, which one should you choose? Many of these devices claim to have US FDA clearance for treating hair loss. Is that enough? And how long should each treatment last? Well, it turns out that not all laser hair regrowth devices are created equal. We have a scientific study coming up shortly in this video to answer all these questions. Over the years, promoters of laser hair regrowth devices have struggled to explain why laser therapy can regrow hair. Many cite that laser therapy stimulates blood circulation on the scalp, while others say that the laser light energizes the follicles and improves scalp health, all seriously lacking in scientific substance. Finally, thanks to a new study published jointly by the Department of Dermatology at Sun Yat-sen University and South China University of Technology in China, we now have a clear understanding as to why laser therapy is effective in promoting hair growth. And more importantly, the study also tells you which laser device is the most effective. In the study, the researchers used in vitro culture of human hair follicles involving different intensities of laser lights and LEDs in order to evaluate their effect on hair growth. It is found that laser therapy invokes activation of WNT beta catenine signaling, and by enhancing the expression of WNT beta catenine signaling molecules in the hair matrix, hair growth is facilitated. What is WNT pathway signaling? WNT signaling regulates stem cell activity as a proliferative and self renewal signal. In a study published in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology, Quack and his team indicated that a higher than normal level of DKK1 protein had been found in biopsies of scalp skin taken from balding men. It was later proven that DKK1 inhibits WNT signaling pathway and, consequently, stem cell division, resulting in a shortening of the growth cycle of antigen phase of hair follicles. Dr. Mark Dahl further reiterated that stem cells and proper WNT pathway signaling facilitate normal hair growth. In addition, certain WNT proteins, such as WNT10B, have been shown to promote hair follicle growth in organ culture. There you have it. Finally, a scientific explanation as to why laser therapy for hair loss works. And there is more to the study. It turns out that not all laser hair growth devices are created equal. The study shows that 655 nanometer red light together with LED was the most effective in stimulating hair growth. According to the researchers, 655 nanometer red light plus LED not only enhanced hair shaft elongation, but also reduced catagen transition in human hair follicle organ culture, with the greatest effectiveness observed at 5 minutes of usage. So if you are on the market shopping for a laser hair regrowth device, make sure you check out the intensity of the device to see if it is comparable to 655 nanometer. What kind of results can you expect from laser hair regrowth treatment? If you are a Norwood class 3 or worse, forget about it. Low-level laser therapy will not give you the results you want. Laser hair treatment works best when you are noticing initial signs of hair loss. If you have been losing your hair for a while or if you have clearly defined bald patches, laser therapy will not give you the improvement you want. If you have any questions on this topic or about hair restoration in general, contact Dr. Cole and his team. They're one of the world's top-ranked sponsoring hair clinics on HairSite and can answer all your questions about cutting-edge hair restoration technologies. No fee, no cost, just good, honest information.